NASA's Orion capsule has made a swift and safe return from the moon as it splashed down in the Pacific Ocean yesterday. Orion completed a dramatic 25-day test flight, winding up the inaugural mission of the U.S. Space Agency's Artemis lunar program. The capsule barreled through the Earth's atmosphere at a speed of 40,000 kilometers per hour. Soon after splashdown, U.S. military helicopter and fast boats approached the capsule for inspections. Orion was carrying a simulated crew of three mannequins wired with sensors. It was a mission with an eye to returning humans to the moon in the coming years. NASA described the mission a success. I don't think any one of us could have imagined the mission this successful, but we had a very successful flight test. We now have a foundational deep space transportation system, and while we haven't looked at all the data that we've acquired, we will do that over the coming days and weeks and fully understand and appreciate the margins that are there. This mission made a key demonstration of how future lunar astronauts would safely return to Earth ahead of program's next lunar flyby set for 2024. This test flight was unmanned. However, the upcoming missions are expected to have people on board. Four astronauts who are yet to be decided are likely to make the trip in 2024, while two people are planned to land at the end of 2025 at the lunar surface. NASA's long-term plan would be to launch a Mars expedition by the late 2030s. NASA's chief, Emily Nelson, said that Orion's performance has enabled them to look for Artemis II and push farther boundaries. The spacecraft per performed so well that we were able to start looking ahead at, at Artemis II and, and thinking through how else can we push the boundaries on this flight? What else can we learn? Where are there constraints that we can push on? Where are there opportunities for us to, to, to improve on our products for the next flight? And so for the last 25 and a half days, we've been every day looking ahead to the next flight to see how we can improve on where we are today so that we can fly a safe and successful mission with our astronauts next time around. Orion's safe return is also special as it marks the 50 years of Apollo moon landing. 50 years ago on the same day, 12 Apollo astronauts walked on the moon. Orion is the first capsule to visit the moon since then. And it is the first flight under NASA's new Artemis moon program, which is in fact named after Apollo's mythological twin sister. So this is a great day, not only for America, but it's a great day for all of our international partners. That's a difference from 50 years ago. 50 years ago, we went as a country, as a government. Today, we go with not only international partners, but also commercial partners. And so, uh, it is the beginning of the new beginning, and that is to explore the heavens. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.